Hello guys, welcome back to the debug arena. In this video, I am going to apply the admin login functionality in our website. As you already know that we have covered login and registration of our user details. Now in this video, I am going to show you that how can you create an admin and login with the admin. So when admin will login, he will be redirected to the page where he will see the table with all the users registered to his website. On the other hand, from the same login page, when user will try to login, they will be redirected to the page where they will see only their data. All this thing I am going to cover in this video. Before that, if you are not following my playlist and you are here for only admin login, then also you can watch this video. I am going to explain each and everything and you will understand it. You will find the link to the code in the description. You can go and download it and take reference from it. Just one thing that if you don't have basics knowledge of react node and mongodb then please don't watch this video go and follow my playlist to learn node and mongodb from scratch so without any delay let's get started first let me show you the working of the project till now this is our registration page i have already registered let me log in so when i log in you can see that I have successfully logged in. The token is generated. This token will be expired after 15 minutes. This is my logout button and here I am getting the user details. And if I refresh this also, then also it will be there. Now this was our user login. Now the question is how we will do the admin login. So the first most easy and the common way is to create a separate file for admin login. Like you will create a new sign up page for admin, sign in page for admin and then you can proceed. But that is not the most efficient way for the people like us who are trying to learn and implement it in our project. Like we have very less time and in that we can't do. We can do but it is not efficient to do the same thing twice for user and admin. So what is another way? Another way is that you can create an API for admin login. You can run it on Postman and generate ID and password. And from that ID and password login to this sign up page. But yes, that will be a little tricky for beginners. So how we are going to do that? Let me tell you that how I am going to do that. I am going to first add here the radio button, which will be like register as user or admin. Now you will be thinking that if you do like that, then any user can come here and click on admin and register as admin. No, what I will do, I will first add a radio button here, admin and user. So whenever anyone clicks on the admin radio button, then I will add another extra field, which is known as a secret key. And that secret key will be known by only the creator of the website. So what we will do if anybody wants to log in as admin then he has to give the secret key here and that secret key must match the secret key which we have added on the website so in that way from this login page we will be login as user also and admin also so i hope you understand the concept now let me code it this is my sign up component you can see here, here I have four states, F name, L name, email and password representing my four fields. After that, you can see here I am setting the state F name, L name, email and password and on submit, I am calling this handle button, which is calling this register function to which we are sending these four values. And now what I will do, I will first create that radio button. So let me create it. And you can see that I have created the radio button. Let me create one state. Okay. Now I will just set here set user type. Let's see how my component is looking. Okay, it is looking well. Let's add this here. Okay, so our first step is done. You can see here we are getting registered as user and admin, and we have set it to the state name as set user type. 
Now the next step will be to create the input box for the secret key. So let me do that also. Let me create the state for that also. Now let's assign the secret key to the state. Yeah, done. Let's see how our component is looking. Okay. So user, admin, secret key, first name, L name, email and password. Now we have to hide it for the user and show it for the admin. So I will give here condition that if user type, which is this state is equal equals to admin. So if user have been clicked on this, the user type will store the admin. If this is admin, then I will show this otherwise none. Let's see whether it is working. You can see if user is clicked, the secret box is disappeared. And if I click on admin, the secret key is here. Moving ahead. Now we will make changes to the function. So you can see whenever the submit is clicked, this function will be called. But we have to check here something. So what I will do if user type is admin then if user type is admin and secret key is not equal to so this is my secret key for now you can keep it as you want so if user type is admin and the secret key is not equal to this then i will just alert invalid admin and I will copy paste this code inside this else you can use return also but yes for now this okay now I will copy paste this here because otherwise it will refresh every time now let's see whether it will be working or not so if I reload it you can see I go to admin so okay, first year I go to user and I click on sign up. You can see something went wrong. This is the message from my API. Okay. If I go to admin and click on sign up, you can see it is showing invalid admin. And if I give the secret key, which only I know, then it is also showing the message from API. Okay. So it is also done. Now next step. Our next step will be to pass your user type okay so by this what will happen whoever register in our website will have this user type whether it should be user or admin so we can differentiate between them with the help of this user type now let's move to our backend so you can see here this is my register code before that let me make changes to the our schema before this, we have only four elements in our schema according to our field. But now we will also have user type because we are accepting user type for every user to bifurcate between them, whether it is a user or admin. Okay. So this step is done. Now come back to app.js. This is my register API. Here I am getting f name, l name, email and password from request.body. This is coming from this. So here I am sending user type also. So I will just add here user type. After that here I am encrypting the password. Here I am checking whether the user exists or not. And here I am creating this is the method from the MongoDB. So if you don't have any idea you can go and watch my previous videos. It will be very useful for you. Okay. So now what it will do whenever user click on register whether it will be user or admin it will create with the user type okay now let's just save it let's try it before this remember one thing that whenever you make changes to the schema make sure to delete all the previous data from your collection otherwise it may throw error so i will delete my schema now I will go and create a user. 
सो आदर्श ठाकुर when i click on sign up you can see registration successful now let's come here let's see whether it has been added or not let's refresh this and you can see it has been added and his user type is user now let's add admin you can see the data is already there i will just write here id admin okay you can see if i click on sign up it is giving me invalid admin also if i write here anything and click on sign up it is showing me invalid admin so there is no way that any other user other than you can log in not not log in create a create an admin okay now when i click on sign up you can see registration successful and if i come here refresh this you can see that my admin is created now what we will do we are going to handle the user details page because currently the user details page will only show us the name and the user we are going to bifurcate it between the admin and the user so let's do that before that let me explain you how our login is working this is my login api here i am getting email and password from react here I am checking whether that email exists or not, and if it exists, then whatever password we have get from React, we are comparing it and decrypting it because you can see in register we have encrypted it. After that, this is we are generating the token, and this is how our login is happening. And after this, this is our user details from that token. We are getting the user data, and we are returning that data to our user, and we are showing it to our dashboard. Now let's make changes to our user details page. So you can see this is my user details page. I am getting the data and all. Okay, let me create here two other component. I will write here user home dot js and uh, okay for now leave admin. I will just create user home. What I will do? i will copy paste this here and i will just save this here you can see we are calling the user data api uh, which i have shown you i am getting the token which has been stored to our local storage let me show you inside login we are storing our token to the local storage we are we are getting that token and we are getting the user data and we are storing the user data in this variable user data okay let me also shift this function log out to that home save user details dot js now what i will do here i will first create a variable const admin comma set admin save this now you can see here that we are getting the data so here i will do this data dot data dot user type is equal equals to admin if it is admin then i will set admin to true okay let me set it here false yes i will set it to true after that i will set this so here i will write condition that if admin is true then we will render here our admin component or admin dashboard which i haven't created yet for now we can just write welcome admin otherwise we will show user home you can see that user home is our this component which we have created okay i will pass this user data whatever data is storing here we will pass there is equals to 
user data and I will just receive it as props user data. Now let's see whether it is working or not. First I will log in as user and when I click on submit you can see login successful and you can see that I am getting this screen others at the rate g.com okay when I click on log out now I will be logged in as admin and you can see I have been logged in as admin and I am getting this welcome admin you can see that how easy it is to implement admin login functionality in your website one thing when we are logging in as an admin we have seen a bit screen of our user details it is because we have to use the loading screen so in the next video i will be creating a new admin component in that i will show the table which have details of the all the users who have been registered to your website and as an admin you will be able to delete them and also i will implement the loading screen so stay tuned for that that's it for this video i hope you have learned something from this video do share the video with your friends and make sure that they also subscribe to my channel and learn web development with me. Thank you for watching.